Vatican City listen, officially Vatican City State Italian, Stato della Città del Vaticano, Latin, Status Civitatis Vaticanae, is an independent city-state enclaved within Rome, Italy. Established with the Lateran Treaty 1929, it is distinct from yet under full ownership, exclusive dominion, and sovereign authority and jurisdiction of the Holy See Latin, Sancta Seeds. With an area of 44 hectares 110 acres, and a population of about 1,000, it is the smallest state in the world by both area and population. The Vatican City is an ecclesiastical or sacerdotal monarchical state a type of theocracy ruled by the Pope who is, religiously speaking, the Bishop of Rome and head of the Catholic Church. The highest state functionaries are all Catholic clergy of various national origins. Since the return of the popes from Avignon in 1377, they have generally resided at the Apostolic Palace within what is now Vatican City, although at times residing instead in the Quirinal Palace in Rome or elsewhere. The Holy See dates back to early Christianity, and is the primate episcopal see of the Catholic Church, with 1.3 billion Catholics around the world distributed in the Latin Church and 23 Eastern Catholic Churches. The independent Vatican City State, on the other hand, came into existence in the 11th of February 1929 by the Lateran Treaty between the Holy See and Italy, which spoke of it as a new creation, not as a vestige of the much larger Papal States 756-1870, which had previously encompassed much of central Italy. Within the Vatican City are religious and cultural sites such as St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel and the Vatican Museums. They feature some of the world's most famous paintings and sculptures. The unique economy of Vatican City is supported financially by the sale of postage stamps and souvenirs, fees for admission to museums, and sales of publications. Name The name Vatican City was first used in the Lateran Treaty, signed on of February 1929, which established the modern city-state. The name is taken from Vatican Hill, the geographic location of the state. Vatican is derived from the name of an Etruscan settlement, Vatica or Vaticum meaning garden, located in the general area the Romans called Vaticanus Aja, Vatican territory. The official Italian name of the city is Città del Vaticano or, more formally, Stato della Città del Vaticano, meaning, Vatican City State. Although the Holy See which is distinct from the Vatican City and the Catholic Church use ecclesiastical Latin in official documents, the Vatican City officially uses Italian. The Latin name is Status Civitatis Vaticanae, this is used in official documents by not just the Holy See, but in most official church and papal documents. History <laughs> Early history The name Vatican was already in use in the time of the Roman Republic for a marshy area on the west bank of the Tiber across from the city of Rome. Under the Roman Empire, many villas were constructed there after Agrippina the Elder 14 BC the 18th of October AD 33 drained the area and laid out her gardens in the early 1st century AD. In AD 40, her son, Emperor Caligula, the 31st of August AD 12 to 24 January AD 41, R 37 to 41, built in her gardens a circus for charioteers. AD 40, that was later completed by Nero, the Circus Gaia Neronis, usually called simply the Circus of Nero. Even before the arrival of Christianity, it is supposed that this originally uninhabited part of Rome, the Age of Vaticanus, had long been considered sacred or at least not available for habitation. A shrine dedicated to the Phrygian goddess Cybele and her consort Attis remained active long after the Constantinian Basilica of St. Peter was built nearby. The particularly low quality of Vatican water, even after the reclamation of the area, was commented on by the poet Marshall 40 between 102 and 104 AD. Tacitus wrote, that in AD 69, the year of the four emperors, when the northern army that brought Vitellius to power arrived in Rome, 
A large proportion camped in the unhealthy districts of the Vatican, which resulted in many deaths among the common soldiery, and the Tiber being close by, the inability of the Gauls and Germans to bear the heat and the consequent greed with which they drank from the stream weakened their bodies, which were already an easy prey to disease. The Vatican obelisk was originally taken by Caligula from Heliopolis in Egypt to decorate the spina of his circus and is thus its last visible remnant. This area became the site of martyrdom of many Christians after the Great Fire of Rome in AD 64. Ancient tradition holds that it was in this circus that Saint Peter was crucified upside down, opposite the circus was a cemetery separated by the Via Cornelia. Funeral monuments and mausoleums and small tombs as well as altars to pagan gods of all kinds of polytheistic religions were constructed lasting until before the construction of the Constantinian Basilica of St. Peter's in the first half of the 4th century. Remains of this ancient necropolis were brought to light sporadically during renovations by various popes throughout the centuries, increasing in frequency during the Renaissance until it was systematically excavated by orders of Pope Pius XII from 1939 to 1941. The Constantinian Basilica was built in 326 over what was believed to be the tomb of St. Peter, buried in that cemetery. From then on, the area became more populated in connection with activity at the basilica. A palace was constructed nearby as early as the 5th century during the pontificate of Pope Symmachus, reigned 498 to 514. Topic: <laughs> Papal States. Popes gradually came to have a secular role as governors of regions near Rome. They ruled the Papal States, which covered a large portion of the Italian peninsula, for more than a thousand years until the mid-19th century, when all the territory belonging to the papacy was seized by the newly created Kingdom of Italy. For most of this time the popes did not live at the Vatican. The Lateran Palace, on the opposite side of Rome, was their habitual residence for about a thousand years. From 1309 to 1377, they lived at Avignon in France. On their return to Rome they chose to live at the Vatican. They moved to the Quirinal Palace in 1583, after work on it was completed under Pope Paul V but on the capture of Rome in 1870 retired to the Vatican, and what had been their residence became that of the King of Italy. Topic. Italian unification In 1870, the Pope's holdings were left in an uncertain situation when Rome itself was annexed by the Piedmont-led forces which had united the rest of Italy, after a nominal resistance by the Papal forces. Between 1861 and 1929 the status of the Pope was referred to as the Roman Question. Italy made no attempt to interfere with the Holy See within the Vatican walls. However, it confiscated church property in many places. In 1871 the Quirinal Palace was confiscated by the King of Italy and became the Royal Palace. Thereafter the popes resided undisturbed within the Vatican walls, and certain papal prerogatives were recognized by the law of guarantees, including the right to send and receive ambassadors. But the popes did not recognize the Italian king's right to rule in Rome, and they refused to leave the Vatican compound until the dispute was resolved in 1929. Pope Pius IX, 1846-1878, the last ruler of the Papal States, was referred to as a prisoner in the Vatican. Forced to give up secular power, the popes focused on spiritual issues. Topic. Lateran treaties This situation was resolved on the 11th of February 1929 when the Lateran treaty between the Holy See and the Kingdom of Italy was signed by Prime Minister and Head of Government Benito Mussolini on behalf of King Victor Emmanuel III and by Cardinal Secretary of State Pietro Gaspari for Pope Pius XI the treaty, which became effective on 7 June 1929, established the independent state of Vatican City and reaffirmed the special status of Catholicism in Italy. Topic: 
World War II The Holy See, which ruled Vatican City, pursued a policy of neutrality during World War II, under the leadership of Pope Pius XII. Although German troops occupied the city of Rome after the September 1943 armistice of Cassibile, and the Allies from 1944, they respected Vatican City as neutral territory. One of the main diplomatic priorities of the Bishop of Rome was to prevent the bombing of the city, so sensitive was the pontiff that he protested even the British airdropping of pamphlets over Rome, claiming that the few landing within the city-state violated the Vatican's neutrality. The British policy, as expressed in the minutes of a cabinet meeting, was that we should on no account molest the Vatican City, but that our action as regards the rest of Rome would depend upon how far the Italian government observed the rules of war." After the American entry into the war, the U.S. opposed such a bombing, fearful of offending Catholic members of its military forces, but said that, "...they could not stop the British from bombing Rome if the British so decided." The British uncompromisingly said, they would bomb Rome whenever the needs of the war demanded. In December 1942, the British envoy suggested to the Holy See that Rome be declared an open city, a suggestion that the Holy See took more seriously than was probably meant by the British, who did not want Rome to be an open city, but Mussolini rejected the suggestion when the Holy See put it to him. In connection with the Allied invasion of Sicily, 500 American aircraft bombed Rome on 19 July 1943, aiming particularly at the railway hub. Some 1,500 people were killed. Pius XII himself, who had been described in the previous month as worried sick about the possible bombing, went to the scene of the tragedy. Another raid took place on 13 August 1943, after Mussolini had been ousted from power. On the following day, the new government declared Rome an open city, after consulting the Holy See on the wording of the declaration, but the British had decided that they would never recognize Rome as an open city. <laughs> Post-war history Pius XII had refrained from creating cardinals during the war. By the end of World War II, there were several prominent vacancies, Cardinal Secretary of State, Camerlengo, Chancellor, and Prefect for the Congregation for the Religious among them. Pius XII created 32 cardinals in early 1946, having announced his intentions to do so in his preceding Christmas message. The Pontifical Military Corps, except for the Swiss Guard, was disbanded by will of Paul VI, as expressed in a letter of 14 September 1970. The Gendarmerie Corps was transformed into a civilian police and security force. In 1984, a new concordat between the Holy See and Italy modified certain provisions of the earlier treaty, including the position of Catholicism as the Italian state religion, a position given to it by a statute of the Kingdom of Sardinia of 1848, construction in 1995 of a new guest house, Domus Sancte Marthe, adjacent to St. Peter's Basilica was criticized by Italian environmental groups, backed by Italian politicians. They claimed the new building would block views of the basilica from nearby Italian apartments. For a short while the plans strained the relations between the Vatican and the Italian government. The head of the Vatican's Department of Technical Services robustly rejected challenges to the Vatican state's right to build within its borders. Geography <laughs> 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 The name, Vatican, predates Christianity and comes from the Latin Mons Vaticanus, meaning Vatican Mount. The territory of Vatican City is part of the Mons Vaticanus, and of the adjacent former Vatican fields. It is in this territory that St. Peter's Basilica, the Apostolic Palace, the Sistine Chapel, and museums were built, along with various other buildings. The area was part of the Roman Rione of Borgo until 1929. 
Being separated from the city, on the west bank of the river Tiber, the area was an outcrop of the city that was protected by being included within the walls of Leo IV and later expanded by the current fortification walls, built under Paul III Pius IV and Urban VIII when the Lateran Treaty of 1929 that gave the state its form was being prepared, the boundaries of the proposed territory were influenced by the fact that much of it was all but enclosed by this loop. For some tracts of the frontier, there was no wall, but the line of certain buildings supplied part of the boundary, and for a small part of the frontier a modern wall was constructed. The territory includes St. Peter's Square, distinguished from the territory of Italy only by a white line along the limit of the square, where it touches Piazza Pio XII. St. Peter's Square is reached through the Via della Conciliazione which runs from close to the Tiber to St. Peter's. This grand approach was constructed by Benito Mussolini after the conclusion of the Lateran Treaty. According to the Lateran Treaty, certain properties of the Holy See that are located in Italian territory, most notably the Papal Palace of Castel Gandolfo and the major basilicas, enjoy extraterritorial status similar to that of foreign embassies. These properties, scattered all over Rome and Italy, house essential offices and institutions necessary to the character and mission of the Holy See, Castel Gandolfo and the named basilicas are patrolled internally by police agents of Vatican City State and not by Italian police. According to the Lateran Treaty Art. 3, St. Peter's Square, up to but not including the steps leading to the Basilica, is normally patrolled by the Italian police. There are no passport controls for visitors entering Vatican City from the surrounding Italian territory. There is free public access to St. Peter's Square and Basilica and, on the occasion of papal general audiences, to the hall in which they are held. For these audiences and for major ceremonies in St. Peter's Basilica and Square, tickets free of charge must be obtained beforehand. The Vatican museums, incorporating the Sistine Chapel, usually charge an entrance fee. There is no general public access to the gardens, but guided tours for small groups can be arranged to the gardens and excavations under the basilica. Other places are open to only those individuals who have business to transact there. Topic. Climate Vatican City's climate is the same as Rome's, a temperate, Mediterranean climate CSA with mild, rainy winters from October to mid-May and hot, dry summers from May to September. Some minor local features, principally mists and dews, are caused by the anomalous bulk of St. Peter's Basilica, the elevation, the fountains and the size of the large paved square. In July 2007, the Vatican accepted a proposal by two firms based respectively in San Francisco and Budapest, whereby it would become the first carbon-neutral state by offsetting its carbon dioxide emissions with the creation of a Vatican climate forest in Hungary, as a purely symbolic gesture to encourage Catholics to do more to safeguard the planet. Nothing came of the project. On the 26th of November 2008, the Vatican itself put into effect a plan announced in May 2007 to cover the roof of the Paul VI Audience Hall with solar panels. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gardens. Within the territory of Vatican City are the Vatican Gardens Italian, Giardini Vaticani, which account for more than half of this territory. The gardens, established during the Renaissance and Baroque era, are decorated with fountains and sculptures. The gardens cover approximately 23 hectares 57 acres, which is most of the Vatican Hill. The highest point is 60 meters 200 feet above mean sea level. Stone walls bound the area in the north, south and west. The gardens date back to medieval times when orchards and vineyards extended to the north of the Papal Apostolic Palace. In 1279 Pope Nicholas III Giovanni Gaetano Orsini, 1277-1280 moved his residence back to the Vatican from the Lateran Palace and enclosed this area with walls. He planted an orchard Pomerium, a lawn Pratellum, and a garden Viridarium. Um, 
Topic: Governance. The politics of Vatican City takes place in an absolute elective monarchy, in which the head of the Roman Catholic Church takes power. The Pope exercises principal legislative, executive, and judicial power over the state of Vatican City, an entity distinct from the Holy See, which is a rare case of a non hereditary monarchy. Vatican City is one of the few widely recognized independent states that has not become a member of the United Nations. The Holy See, which is distinct from Vatican City State, has permanent observer status with all the rights of a full member except for a vote in the UN General Assembly. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political system. The government of Vatican City has a unique structure. The Pope is the sovereign of the state. Legislative authority is vested in the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State, a body of cardinals appointed by the Pope for five-year periods. Executive power is in the hands of the President of that commission, assisted by the General Secretary and Deputy General Secretary. The state's foreign relations are entrusted to the Holy See's Secretariat of State and Diplomatic Service. Nevertheless, the Pope has absolute power in the executive, legislative and judicial branches over Vatican City. He is currently the only absolute monarch in Europe. There are specific departments that deal with health, security, telecommunications, etc. The Cardinal Camelengo presides over the Apostolic Camera to which is entrusted the administration of the property and protection of other papal temporal powers and rights of the Holy See during the period of the Empty Throne or Sede Vacante papal vacancy. Those of the Vatican State remain under the control of the Pontifical Commission for the State of Vatican City. Acting with three other cardinals chosen by lot every three days, one from each order of cardinals cardinal bishop, cardinal priest, and cardinal deacon, he in a sense performs during that period the functions of head of state of Vatican City. All the decisions these four cardinals take must be approved by the College of Cardinals as a whole. The nobility that was closely associated with the Holy See at the time of the Papal States continued to be associated with the Papal Court after the loss of these territories, generally with merely nominal duties see Papal Master of the Horse, Prefecture of the Pontifical Household, hereditary officers of the Roman Curia, Black Nobility. They also formed the Ceremonial Noble Guard. In the first decades of the existence of the Vatican City State, executive functions were entrusted to some of them, including that of Delegate for the State of Vatican City now denominated President of the Commission for Vatican City. But with the motu proprio pontificalis domus of 28 March 1968, Pope Paul VI abolished the honorary positions that had continued to exist until then, such as Quartermaster General and Master of the Horse. Vatican City State, created in 1929 by the Lateran Pacts, provides the Holy See with a temporal jurisdiction and independence within a small territory. It is distinct from the Holy See. The state can thus be deemed a significant but not essential instrument of the Holy See. The Holy See itself has existed continuously as a juridical entity since Roman imperial times and has been internationally recognized as a powerful and independent sovereign entity since late antiquity to the present, without interruption even at times when it was deprived of territory e the Holy See has the oldest active continuous diplomatic service in the world, dating back to at least AD 325 with its legation to the Council of Nicaea. <laughs> <laughs> Head of state and government The Pope is ex officio head of state of Vatican City since the 1860s, functions dependent on his primordial function as Bishop of the Diocese of Rome. The term, Holy See, refers not to the Vatican State but to the Pope's spiritual and pastoral governance, largely exercised through the Roman Curia. His official title with regard to Vatican City is Sovereign of the State of the Vatican City. Pope Francis, born Jorge Mario Bergoglio in Buenos Aires, Argentina, was elected on 13 March 2013. 
his principal subordinate government official for Vatican City as well as the country's head of government is the President of the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State, who since 1952 exercises the functions previously belonging to the Governor of Vatican City. Since 2001, the President of the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State also has the title of President of the Governorate of the State of Vatican City. The current president is Italian Cardinal Giuseppe Bertello, who was appointed on 1 October 2011. Administration Legislative functions are delegated to the Unicameral Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State, led by the President of the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State. Its seven members are cardinals appointed by the Pope for terms of five years. Acts of the Commission must be approved by the Pope, through the Holy See's Secretariat of State, and before taking effect must be published in a special appendix of the Acta Apostolici Sedis. Most of the content of this appendix consists of routine executive decrees, such as approval for a new set of postage stamps. Executive authority is delegated to the Governorate of Vatican City. The Governorate consists of the President of the Pontifical Commission, using the title, President of the Governorate of Vatican City, a General Secretary, and a Vice General Secretary, each appointed by the Pope for five-year terms. Important actions of the Governorate must be confirmed by the Pontifical Commission and by the Pope through the Secretariat of State. The Governorate oversees the central governmental functions through several departments and offices. The directors and officials of these offices are appointed by the Pope for five-year terms. These organs concentrate on material questions concerning the state's territory, including local security, records, transportation, and finances. The Governorate oversees a modern security and police corps, the Corpo della Gendarmeria dello Stato della Città del Vaticano. Judicial functions are delegated to a Supreme Court, an Appellate Court, a Tribunal Tribunal of Vatican City State, and a Trial Judge. At the Vatican's request, sentences imposed can be served in Italy see the section on crime, below. The International Postal Country Code prefix is SCV, and the only postal code is 00120 altogether SCV 00120. Defense and security As the Vatican City is an enclave within Italy, its military defense is provided by the Italian armed forces. However, there is no formal defense treaty with Italy, as the Vatican City is a neutral state. Vatican City has no armed forces of its own, although the Swiss Guard is a military corps of the Holy See responsible for the personal security of the Pope, and resident in the state. Soldiers of the Swiss Guard are entitled to hold Vatican City state passports and nationality. Swiss mercenaries were historically recruited by popes as part of an army for the Papal States, and the Pontifical Swiss Guard was founded by Pope Julius II on of January 1506 as the Pope's personal bodyguard and continues to fulfill that function. It is listed in the Annuario Pontificio under Holy See, not under State of Vatican City. At the end of 2005, the Guard had 134 members. Recruitment is arranged by a special agreement between the Holy See and Switzerland. All recruits must be Catholic, unmarried males with Swiss citizenship who have completed their basic training with the Swiss Armed Forces with certificates of good conduct, be between the ages of 19 and 30, and be at least 174 cm 5 feet 9 in, in height. Members are equipped with small arms and the traditional halberd also called the Swiss Vulge, and trained in bodyguarding tactics. The Palatine Guard and the Noble Guard, the last armed forces of the Vatican City State, were disbanded by Pope Paul VI in 1970. As Vatican City has listed every building in its territory on the International Register of Cultural Property under special protection, the Hague Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the event of armed conflict theoretically renders it immune to armed attack. Civil defense is the responsibility of the Corps of Firefighters of the Vatican City State, the National Fire Brigade. 
Dating its origins to the early 19th century, the Corps in its present form was established in 1941. It is responsible for firefighting, as well as a range of civil defense scenarios including flood, natural disaster, and mass casualty management. The Corps is governmentally supervised through the Directorate for Security Services and Civil Defense, which is also responsible for the Gendarmerie see below. The Gendarmerie Corps Corpo della Gendarmeria is the Gendarmerie, or police and security force, of Vatican City and the extraterritorial properties of the Holy See. The Corps is responsible for security, public order, border control, traffic control, criminal investigation, and other general police duties in Vatican City including providing security for the Pope outside of Vatican City. The Corps has 130 personnel and is a part of the Directorate for Security Services and Civil Defense which also includes the Vatican Fire Brigade, an organ of the Governorate of Vatican City. Foreign relations Vatican City State is a recognized national territory under international law, but it is the Holy See that conducts diplomatic relations on its behalf, in addition to the Holy See's own diplomacy, entering into international agreements in its regard. Vatican City thus has no diplomatic service of its own. Because of space limitations, Vatican City is one of the few countries in the world that is unable to host embassies. Foreign embassies to the Holy See are located in the city of Rome. Only during the Second World War were the staff of some embassies accredited to the Holy See given what hospitality was possible within the narrow confines of Vatican City embassies such as that of the United Kingdom while Rome was held by the Axis powers and Germany's when the Allies controlled Rome. The size of Vatican City is thus unrelated to the large global reach exercised by the Holy See as an entity quite distinct from the state, however, Vatican City State itself participates in some international organizations whose functions relate to the state as a geographical entity, distinct from the non-territorial legal persona of the Holy See. These organizations are much less numerous than those in which the Holy See participates either as a member or with observer status. They include the following eight, in each of which Vatican City State holds membership European Conference of Postal and Telecommunications Administrations CEPT, European Telecommunications Satellite Organization Utilsat -Ego, International Grains Council IGC, International Institute of Administrative Sciences IIAS, International Telecommunication Union ITU, International Telecommunications Satellite Organization ITSO, Interpol Universal Postal Union UPU, It also participates in World Medical Association World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO. Economy The Vatican City State Budget includes the Vatican Museums and Post Office and is supported financially by the sale of stamps, coins, medals and tourist mementos, by fees for admission to museums, and by publications sales. The incomes and living standards of lay workers are comparable to those of counterparts who work in the city of Rome. Other industries include printing, the production of mosaics, and the manufacture of staff uniforms. There is a Vatican Pharmacy. The Institute for Works of Religion IOR, Istituto per la Opere di Religione, also known as the Vatican Bank, is a financial agency situated in the Vatican that conducts worldwide financial activities. It has multilingual ATMs with instructions in Latin, possibly the only ATM in the world with this feature. Vatican City issues its own coins and stamps. It has used the euro as its currency since 1 January 1999, owing to a special agreement with the European Union Council Decision 1999-98. Euro coins and notes were introduced on 1 January 2002. The Vatican does not issue euro banknotes. Issuance of euro-denominated coins is strictly limited by treaty, though somewhat more than usual is allowed in a year in which there is a change in the papacy. 
Because of their rarity, Vatican euro coins are highly sought by collectors. Until the adoption of the euro, Vatican coinage and stamps were denominated in their own Vatican lira currency, which was on par with the Italian lira. Vatican City State, which employs nearly 2,000 people, had a surplus of 6.7 million euros in 2007 but ran a deficit in 2008 of over 15 million euros. In 2012, the U.S. State Department's International Narcotics Control Strategy Report listed Vatican City for the first time among the nations of concern for money laundering, placing it in the middle category, which includes countries such as Ireland, but not among the most vulnerable countries, which include the United United States itself, Germany, Italy and Russia on the 24th of February 2014 the Vatican announced it was establishing a secretariat for the economy to be responsible for all economic, financial and administrative activities of the Holy See and the Vatican City State headed by Cardinal George Pell. This followed the charging of two senior clerics including a monsignor with money laundering offenses. Pope Francis also appointed an auditor general authorized to carry out random audits of any agency at any time, and engaged a U.S. financial services company to review the Vatican's 19,000 accounts to ensure compliance with international money laundering practices. The pontiff also ordered that the administration of the patrimony of the Apostolic See would be the Vatican's central bank, with responsibilities similar to other central banks around the world. Topic: Demographics. Topic: Population and languages. Almost all of Vatican City's more than 450 citizens either live inside the Vatican's walls or serve in the Holy See's diplomatic service in embassies called nunciature. A papal ambassador is a nuncio around the world the vatican citizenry consists almost entirely of two groups clergy most of whom work in the service of the holy see and a very few as officials of the state and the swiss guard most of the 2400 lay workers who comprise the majority of the vatican workforce reside outside the vatican and are citizens of italy while a few are citizens of other nations as a result, all of the city's actual citizens are Catholic as are all the places of worship. Vatican City has no formally enacted official language, but, unlike the Holy See which most often uses Latin for the authoritative version of its official documents, Vatican City uses only Italian in its legislation and official communications. Italian is also the everyday language used by most of those who work in the state. In the Swiss Guard, Swiss German is the language used for giving commands, but the individual guards take their oath of loyalty in their own languages, German, French, Romance or Italian. Vatican City's official website languages are Italian, English, French, German, and Spanish. This site should not be confused with that of the Holy See, which uses all these languages, along with Portuguese, with Latin since 9 May 2008 and Chinese since 18 March 2009. <laughs> Citizenship Unlike citizenship of other states, which is based either on jus sanguinis birth from a citizen, even outside the state's territory or on jus soli birth within the territory of the state, citizenship of Vatican City is granted jus officii, namely on the grounds of appointment to work in a certain capacity in the service of the Holy See. It usually ceases upon cessation of the appointment. Citizenship is extended also to the spouse, parents and descendants of a citizen, provided they are living with the person who is a citizen. The Holy See, not being a country, issues only diplomatic and service passports, whereas Vatican City issues normal passports for its citizens. Anyone who loses Vatican citizenship and does not possess other citizenship automatically becomes an Italian citizen as provided in the Lateran Treaty. As of 31 December 2011, other than the Pope, there were 594 persons possessing Vatican citizenship, of which, 72% were clergy, including 71 cardinals residing in Rome. 307 titular bishops and other clergy serving as papal diplomats. 
51 other members of the clergy.28% were laity, including 1 religious sister 109 members of the Pontifical Swiss Guard 55 other lay persons, the persons authorized to reside in the Vatican City maintaining their original citizenship were 238, of the aforementioned numbers. The persons residing in buildings outside of the Vatican City in buildings exempt from expropriation and taxation were 3,500 on the above-mentioned date. On the 22nd of February 2011, Pope Benedict XVI promulgated a new law concerning citizenship, residency and access to Vatican City, which became effective on 1 March. It replaced the 1929 law concerning citizenship and residence. There are 16 articles in the new law, whereas the old law had 33 articles. It updated the old law by incorporating changes made after 1929, such as the 1940 granting of Vatican City citizenship, durante munere, to the members of the Holy See's diplomatic service. It also created a new category, that of official Vatican residents, i.e., people living in Vatican City. These are not necessarily Vatican citizens. On 1 March 2011, only 220 of the over 800 people living in Vatican City were citizens. There was a total of 572 Vatican citizens, of whom 352 were not residents, mainly apostolic nuncios and diplomatic staff. As of 2013, there were about 30 female citizens. Topic: Wine consumption. More wine is drunk per person in the Vatican City than in any other country in the world, according to statistics released by the California Wine Institute. The figures show that residents of the Vatican consume 74 liters of wine on average, roughly equivalent to 105 bottles over the course of a year. That amount is around double the amount drunk by the average person in France or Italy as a whole, and triple the quantity consumed in the UK. Culture Vatican City is home to some of the most famous art in the world. St. Peter's Basilica, whose successive architects include Bramante, Michelangelo, Giacomo della Porta, Moderno and Benini, is a renowned work of Renaissance architecture. The Sistine Chapel is famous for its frescoes, which include works by Perugino, Domenico Ghilandaio and Botticelli as well as the ceiling and last judgment by Michelangelo. Artists who decorated the interiors of the Vatican include Raphael and Fra Angelico. The Vatican Apostolic Library and the collections of the Vatican Museums are of the highest historical, scientific and cultural importance. In 1984, the Vatican was added by UNESCO to the list of World Heritage Sites, it is the only one to consist of an entire state. Furthermore, it is the only site to date registered with the UNESCO as a center containing monuments in the International Register of Cultural Property under Special Protection. According to the 1954 Hague Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the Event of Armed Conflict. Topic: Sport. There is a football championship called the Vatican City Championship with 8 teams including for example the Swiss Guards FC Guardia and Police and Museum Guard teams. Topic: Infrastructure. Topic: Transport. Vatican City has a reasonably well-developed transport network, considering its size, consisting mostly of a piazza and walkways. A state that is 1.05 kilometers (0.65 miles) long and 0.85 kilometers (0.53 miles) wide, it has a small transportation system with no airports or highways. The only aviation facility in Vatican City is the Vatican City Heliport. 
Vatican City is one of the few independent countries without an airport, and is served by the airports that serve the city of Rome, Leonardo da Vinci Fiumicino Airport, and to a lesser extent Ciampino Airport. There is a standard gauge railway, mainly used to transport freight, connected to Italy's network at Rome's St. Peter's Station by an 852-metre-long spur, 300 metres 330 yards of which is within Vatican territory. Pope John XXIII was the first pope to make use of the railway. Pope John Paul II rarely used it. The closest metro station is Ottaviano, San Pietro, Musse Vaticani. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Communications. The city is served by an independent, modern telephone system named the Vatican Telephone Service, and a postal system that started operating on 13 February 1929. On 1 August, the state started to release its own postal stamps, under the authority of the Philatelic and Numismatic Office of the Vatican City State. The city's postal service is sometimes said to be, "...the best in the world." And faster than the postal service in Rome, the Vatican also controls its own Internet TLD, which is registered as VA. Broadband service is widely provided within Vatican City. Vatican City has also been given a radio ITU prefix, HV, and this is sometimes used by amateur radio operators. Vatican Radio, which was organized by Guglielmo Marconi, broadcasts on short wave, medium wave, and FM frequencies and on the Internet. Its main transmission antennae are located in Italian territory, and exceed Italian environmental protection levels of emission. For this reason, the Vatican Radio has been sued. Television services are provided through another entity, the Vatican Television Center. L'Osservatore Romano is the multilingual semi official newspaper of the Holy See. It is published by a private corporation under the direction of Roman Catholic laymen, but reports on official information. However, the official texts of documents are in the Acta Apostolici Sedis, the official gazette of the Holy See, which has an appendix for documents of the Vatican City State. Vatican Radio, the Vatican Television Center, and L'Osservatore Romano are organs not of the Vatican State but of the Holy See, and are listed as such in the Annuario Pontificio, which places them in the section, Institutions linked with the Holy See. Ahead of the sections on the Holy See's diplomatic service abroad and the diplomatic corps accredited to the Holy See, after which is placed the section on the state of Vatican City. Topic: <inaudible> Recycling. In 2008, the Vatican began an ecological island for renewable waste and has continued the initiative throughout the papacy of Francis. Topic: <inaudible> Crime. Crime in Vatican City consists largely of purse snatching, pickpocketing and shoplifting by outsiders. The tourist foot traffic in St. Peter's Square is one of the main locations for pickpockets in Vatican City. If crimes are committed in St. Peter's Square, the perpetrators may be arrested and tried by the Italian authorities, since that area is normally patrolled by Italian police. Under the terms of Article 22 of the Lateran Treaty, Italy will, at the request of the Holy See, punish individuals for crimes committed within Vatican City and will itself proceed against the person who committed the offense, if that person takes refuge in Italian territory. Persons accused of crimes recognized as such both in Italy and in Vatican City that are committed in Italian territory will be handed over to the Italian authorities if they take refuge in Vatican City or in buildings that enjoy immunity under the treaty. Vatican City has no prison system, apart from a few detention cells for pre trial detention. People convicted of committing crimes in the Vatican serve terms in Italian prisons, Polizia Penitenziaria, with costs covered by the Vatican. Topic. See also Index of Vatican City-related articles Law of Vatican City News. VA Outline of Vatican City